here we are in my backlogged list of things to do. And I'd like to swap out these medium violet red tags with a color that's a little lighter. So first I have to find all of these tags in my list before I replace them. And I do that by clicking on one of these tags. Here you'll see a bunch more items with the same tag. I'm going to explode this colored tag on the first item in the list and now I'm going to tag it with a lighter pink. I'm not exactly excited about doing the same for every item on this list right now. So now for the magic. And since I'm already filtering for a specific tag, I'm just going to activate my find and replace script. And I'm going to change this tag here to pink. And then hit this button to change all 22 instances. If I now hover over my hidden tag, you can see that the tag names have been changed. It's also worth pointing out at this stage that I can undo all my changes made in a heartbeat and then redo if I want. I'm now going to jump to my Pomodoro outline. This is where I log 30 minute blocks of time when I'm working on online projects. Let's zoom into July. If I click on one of these blocks, you'll see that all of them are actually tags. I want to change the color from black to blue. And so I'm going to enlist the services of the find and replace script once again. And I'm going to change my tag to hashtag BL for blue. If I want to undo, it's as simple as hitting control plus Z and then to redo, control shift plus Z. I'm now going to do a global search using the WFX extension. I'm going to search for WF plus. This was what the extension used to be called when it was still in beta. Now I activate the find and replace script. And I'm going to change all instances of WF plus to WF X. Amazing. This is quite a handy tool to keep at your fingertips, wouldn't you say? Okay, so it's time to do a quick find and replace script install. Let's zoom into find and replace. You can follow this link right here for more details on some pretty specific use cases for this tool. But for now, onto the script. So I'm going to activate my built-in shortcut maker, WFS. And I'm going to set up the shortcut FR for whenever I want to activate find and replace. Well, that's a quick install if there ever was one. No time to waste. Now onto the next screencast where I'll showcase an editing tool that allows you to tag multiple lists simultaneously. The link is in the description box below the video.